Hey geometry students, so here we go. Um, we are going to be practicing more with Venn diagrams. Um, we're going to actually do shading on this worksheet, okay? And um, it tells you just to shade the given region. You'll be able to see um, some more formal ways of writing um, sets of numbers by doing this, um, and we'll go over each of those things. So the first one's nice and easy. It just says shade A. Okay, shade everything that's in the set of A. Okay, so if we had a set of, set of numbers, or let's say A represented the cakes, right, um, and hot dogs, you know, from the last video, you would just shade everybody who ate cake, right? So um, I'm going to just shade this circle, just shade the whole circle. Okay, and that's it for that one. So just shade the entire circle of A, because that's what it's saying. Okay, this next one is a little bit more um, challenging, okay? This right here, this little uh, symbol there, means union. It also means an or. So it's or and a union, okay? And so what that means is they want either, they want um, everything that's in set A, so that circle, in union with the complement of B. This is what this little symbol means. It, it's set like the set of B, but it's like basically saying not B. Okay, you could think of it as not B or the complement of B is what they call that. So they're saying don't shade in the B, okay? So, um, but, but since it says um, you can shade an A, it's saying it's either A or not B, okay? So that's what we have to shade. So we got to shade, um, like I said, A. It could be A. And then not B, okay, is everything that's not in circle B. So now we've got the stuff out here that's not in circle B that's going to be shaded. So all of this is not in circle B, this whole area out here. So they're saying that, you know, your answers could come from um, A or not B. All right? And so... Um, another way to say this is, um, for union, objects that belong to set A or not B. So objects that belong to set A or not B. Okay. Now, again, the reason, um, we want to make sure that we get this right here. Um, I want to make sure I got this. Okay, so there's, there's that right there. Um, next one, I'm trying to find my little worksheet here. Um, next one is not B and, or not A and not B. Okay, so everything that's outside of A and everything that's outside of B. So this means intersection, this little symbol here intersection okay it's also um, if you think of it instead of an or statement this is an and statement okay so it's where these um, two things would intersect so if I were to shade um, not a I'd be shading all of the stuff outside of a okay and that includes really um, this in here, okay? So not A would be everything outside of A, but not B would be everything outside of B. And so what you're looking for is where these colors intersect. 
Okay, not where there's just um, red or blue, but where they intersect. So now you can see um, that everything out here is an intersection between the red and the blue. So these don't count, okay? I just showed you that for color, like just to show you colors, but um, not A and not B. They're all outside here, this whole region out here, okay? Here's a nice, easy one again. Um, just shade everything that's in set B. That's nice. So again, just go to the circle B and we'll just, just shade in the circle. Nice and easy. They just want everything that's in this set. Okay, and we'll, we'll apply this uh, a little bit later. All right. This one, again, is union, A union B, or A or B. So everything that's in set A or set B. So we're going to have everything that's set A right here. And everything that's in set B is right here. And since it's a union, you're talking about, um, in this case, you're talking about that whole area, that the whole area, even though these are um, overlapped, we're not worried about intersections here. We're just saying um, everything in A or everything in B. So it includes this entire thing, okay? And then this says the intersection of A and B, where is that? So if you look at where the intersection of A and B is, here's A, here's B, where they intersect is actually here, okay? It's in there, but they're saying they want the complement of that. They want everywhere where they don't intersect, okay? So that would be all of this outside. All the place where I'm shading red, that's my answer. It's everything that's not, this is the little symbol for not, everything that's not in the intersection of A and B. So the red area is my answer. Okay. All right, so I hope that makes sense. Um, again, we'll go over on, on the next video, we're gonna go over some um, other ways of looking at the Venn diagrams where we actually fill them in ourselves um, and answer some questions. And then that'll be all really for the Venn diagrams. And then we'll um, go on to looking at um, some two-way tables. And then we'll be done um, for that topic.